Well, hey guys, it's Jane at Velocity Vet 08, and um, this is going to be a little, I guess, a little Renee Bouquet design team project as I work on this, because um, I'm going to use a bunch of her stuff, so it might as well be, um, even though I'm required to do two a uh, month, but really, the way that I look at it is, when I pull out her stuff to use, why not call it that, you know, I mean, it really is kind of what it is, and if it ends up I do three a month, then so be it. Um, I, as you know, if you watched my video where I um, opened my box, I had my box that I got into of my newest items from Renee Bouquet's store, I flipped out over these little um, cherubs. They're just like little cutie dolls to me. I love them. They are absolutely stunning. Um, they come in a set. Here's the other one. But it, I'm using them um, on an ATC, so... I can use one at a time and save one, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one of these dimensional ATCs, and um, this this is how far my plan goes. Um, I know I'm going to send this to Lyda. She won the contest for um, the flash contest, and that was an ATC, so I know that it's going to her. I know that I'm using this. I know that it's going to be a Renee Bouquet design team project. And that's all I know. Oh, and then it's a dimensional ATC. Other than that, I have no plan. Um, oh, and then I did decide to use this paint, which is Paper Artsy's Fresco Blue. Uh, chalk, I'm sorry. It is a chalk acrylic that is sky blue. And so um, the Fresco finish is just kind of a um, pale, um, like a chalky type finish. It's not glossy. It's not semi-glossy, it's just kind of, um, you know, like I said, kind of a, a matte chalky look at the end. And I love it. I love the look of it. And um, I just thought, you know, well, this would be really cute. And so I um, got out this paint and thought I would just start painting and collect other things along the way to put on it. I have some of the metal items out from her store as well and I have some lace from her store and I'm just going to play around with this until I have an ATC um, that I like. So I'm going to go wash my brush out and I'm going to come back and uh, I think I'm going to dry this too with my um, heat gun and we'll go from there. Okay guys I'm back and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit because I got things around me that might be helpful. Anyway, this is pretty dry, and it's not a real, um, I didn't gesso at first, so it's just kind of a blue, um, not like total full coverage, but it really doesn't matter. I found some um, vintage music note paper that I have, and I'm going to just kind of tear it up. It's like over a hundred years old. It's very old, so it tears like, I mean, it tears really super easy, and I'm just going to get some bits and um, put them on here just to make it you know have a little um, little interest and that should do it and I'll save the rest put that away and I'm gonna put it on with doo -doo -doo -doo. I got a lot of cruddy paintbrushes to put them on with. Um, I'm going to use some soft gel medium and it's gloss. So I'm going to need to paint the whole thing um, for those of you who are paying attention in the mixed media stuff because otherwise I will have just gloss where um, the music note paper is and not anywhere else because the paint we used was flat. So you can just kind of put this on like this. works pretty well. And um, just kind of paint that around. Get the glossy stuff all over it and then you'll have the same finish everywhere. Works pretty good. So I'm gonna put these on here. to keep them 
horizontal. I've been helping my hubby this morning to put some, he's doing his D stash now, and he's selling, um, he is selling Stein's Anheuser-Busch collections, and um, he is selling uh, collectible signs. They're like bar and pub signs from a place called Montage um, in Key West. And you can only get them in that store or online from that store. There's nobody else that has these really cool, you know, bar and pub signs. And so um, we had them, he had a big collection of them. He had them all over this one wall. And quite some time ago, I think he just got tired of, of them. And um, he took them all down. Um, like I said, it's been a while then since he did that, since he made that decision. And um, they've just been in the basement over on the side where we store things that we don't use. And they're worth a lot of money, really. Um, you know, they're definitely worth every bit that you paid for them. And so rather than have them just sit down there in the basement, he decided to go ahead and put them on... Um, eBay so and he really doesn't know how to do that eBay stuff or anything and so I got him all set up and got him all on there and and um, took all the pictures and we put up about I don't know eight or nine listings between Steins and that and we have a long way to go on the Steins we did get all the all the montage signs up so those are all on there and um, so hopefully he'll have a good success de-stashing like I did. That would be kind of nice. So I just went, what I did as far as finding things to put on here, I literally just went around my craft room and picked out things I thought might look cute together. So we'll see how I did picking out things. And um, I will be right back. I gotta wash this brush out because it's just this is just like straight glue, like paste. So um, I'll be back, and we're gonna do some more to um, this. We're gonna put some stenciling stuff on it. So I'll be back. Okay, back again. And I think I'm going to um, use this stencil on here. It's a really good one. Uh, I really love this stencil. As you can see, it's, it's well-loved on both sides. Um, but it's a good size. These little dots are so good for an ATC because they're really tiny. And I can just lay it right on top of here. Um, the embossing paste I'm going to use is um, by Wendy Vecchi, and it's Dreamweaver. It's a real, a real soft type um, embossing paste. It's really nice, although... <clears throat> It doesn't take color as well as the Tim Holtz texture paste, which is what <clears throat> Renee is carrying in her store. And I want to get it. In fact, I ordered it already. It's on its way to me. I don't know if it's left yet or not, but it should be on its way soon if it's not already. But the texture paste, I wish I had it because I'm going to use some color on it. And it's not. this won't take the color as good. But I don't have the Tim Holtz stuff yet. So, but I, I wish, like I said, I wish I did. But this will give me a really pretty, just a really pretty, um, kind of creamy, almost like frosting type finish on here. And I'm just going to kind of randomly put it on. I'm not putting it on real thick um, because of the other things I want to do. And I, I just don't want to have too much. I want to have some texture, but not too much. Looks like some of that red's coming off of that stencil. I have to clean it. I don't want it in my container. I have to go wash it. Who knows what's on there? Who knows? Okay. So that gives me some... <laughs> kind of funny that the color came through on there too but fortunately that's okay because 
um, it actually came across as almost like a little pink and pink is fine in there and pink is the color that I'm wanting to add to this so that'll work out just fine um, the colors I want to use are my distress inks that um, she now carries in her store but I do need to go um, here I keep popping off of here a bunch to go clean things but I don't have my sink right by me so I'm gonna go clean this is okay but I want to go clean my um, stencil it obviously needs a very good cleaning so I'm going to go do that, and then I'll come back, and I think I'm going to be good for a little while. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> Trying to handle <clears throat> messages in between while things are drying. Um, I think that's pretty dry and going to work out pretty good. I think I'm going to actually order a new one of those masks. Um, what I'm going to do is use, I'm not sure which pink I want to go with. I think I'm going to go with um, Spun Sugar because the Victorian Velvet is pretty light and I just don't think it's going to give me enough color. So um, these little guys are just perfect for this kind of thing and I love this new holder. Um, she has this in the store. It's a wonderful way to keep organized. I own four of them now and they're just like wonderful because I actually have other inks too that are tiny not just these and so I'm just putting a little bit on here like this which you know this is just great and you got your little holder to put them back in neat and tidy just like I like it um, and I have some water over here you can just spritz some water or you know just uh, you know use a brush and and kinda you know get your um, ink moving around a little bit because it's a water um, based ink the distress inks are and I'm just going to kind of paint this on here to give a little color, a little softness to it. And um, a little pink all over the embossing too. I Like I said, if I had the, um, it's taken a little bit of the color. I kind of got a help from the um, messy mask. But... Um, I'm just kind of scraping it up off of my off of my mat and putting it on the embossing and the paper and it's just kind of picking it up in a real soft way um, not too heavy just a little bit give it a little glow some of this is going to get covered anyway so you know I just want to have uh, you know a little layering a little dimension to it and looks at a little color and I just I like that softness of it I'm gonna go ahead and dry that <clears throat> love 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 my new um, heat gun oh my goodness Okay, I'm just going to put these away real quick. So yeah, those, those inks and those containers are so sweet. Love them. Okay, I wanted to use some of her lace because I have some and it's so pretty and it's perfect with this. Absolutely perfect. And so I'm trying to decide which way I want to go. If I want to just put some here on the side like this. I'm going to use these scissors in here yes this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go long ways with it and just kinda give it a cut it's gonna be a little um, longer than um, my ATC and just gonna kinda cover it like this um, I want kind of a loose a loose look so I'm just gonna kinda go down the ATC and glue that on like that so that'll dry just fine and the reason I just I wanted to go like this I found this little um, corner uh, piece this little resin and I thought wow that would be so darling right there on the corner so I'm gonna put a little dab of glue right there and put that on the corner 
and that way you can see the um, music note paper really good um, you know you can see the pink coloring that I did you can see the glue that was stuck to my finger um, I can still see music note paper through this beautiful um, lace and I just I love it it gives almost like a little pink bed for her to be in and so I'm gonna go ahead and um, adhere her down and we're gonna do more still <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put my little cherub cubie baby down there okay and I want to take I, f I have these little hinges they're just darling they're so cute and um, but I want to use my scissors to try to figure out how I want to go about this and I have some um, I'm do the scissors over here and I have like some little of these um, beadberry sprays that I had from when I was with Wild Orchid Crafts and I think one of those might be pretty in there I think I'm gonna put my scissors over here this is I'll tell you what this is going together I it's I'm really happy with it but it's like by the seat of my pants because I just I have found that I do much better putting these together without a plan I just go along I get out things start playing with them and they just seem to work out better to me that way I really really like them um, so I, I've been just going with it that way and they go together um, quick and they look neat I love the way they look when they're done it's they're just it's like a whimsical like kind of quick little design thing and see I have this dimensional thing going on here so just you know because it's kind of fun I'm gonna put a, just a tiny bit of glue right here like that and I'm gonna put this little hinge on there and I just think that'll look kind of neat it's just kind of a like for no reason hinge but I like it and a little bit of glue right there I want to get rid of there we go okay and then I have these um, like buttons and stuff too and I was thinking of playing with them and I was looking around in my room here I found that I had these this big assortment of buttons and I was thinking okay so I could go like that and then maybe use one of these little gold flowers on it and then put something inside there I don't know what yet but that's what I'm gonna do I just think that kinda looks neat so I'm just gonna Put that there. Okay, and then what could I put inside there? Um, <clears throat> like a little, a little pearl. I think I'm going to talk to Renee about maybe getting one of these in the store. Yeah, that would work pretty well. I'm just going to put uh, a little glue right there. This is a super handy tool, and so I might mention she and I have been talking about different things, and I don't know if she would be interested or not, but it's a good little tool. I don't know who makes it. to ask her about it. So yeah, that looks good, like that. 
and um, I could also put two pearls there, but I don't. I like that kind of a um, the metal hinge. I like the metal addition with the scissors and the just the metal right there. I like the way that that looks. Um, I'm not sure about the beadberry at this point because I'm going to cut myself off a piece and I'm going to um, kind of see if it goes anywhere. So far it doesn't. I kind of do like it though over here on the side a little bit. Now maybe if it were white, and if the white doesn't go then I'm going to give up on this. It's going to go, it's going to go right here. Maybe without this. Sometimes I don't like that. Oh, I do like it without that greenery and in white. It does look good. a little bit of glue inside there so I don't have to pull it out again and kind of push that up like that and I love that I absolutely love it that has got to be my fastest design team project ever but I just think it's adorable I think that is adorable I'm going to get my glue strings off so there you go and I absolutely love it and look how much was done with Renee Bouquet's items it's her lace, it's her little cherub it's um, her scissors and then the coloring because the coloring makes a big difference too if this was just stark it wouldn't look good. It needed the coloring to soften it a little bit. So I just adore it. I think it's really cute. I hope you guys like it. And I hope watching the tutorial was helpful for you to see just how easy and just how quick you can put together an ATC and have it done, um, you know, and cute as can be. It, it's not, a lot of people kind of stress over the size. What are they going to put on there? They don't want to put too much, this and that. Walk around your craft room, grab a bunch of things you think are cute, and start playing with it. It really goes together just that fast and just that easy. Because while this did go together quick, I don't think I skimped one bit on the darling part. I, I think I love it. I love it as much as one I spent three hours on. I just think it turned out really super cute. So, um, and, and you know, the other thing is... Go over to her store, you guys, if you haven't, and use the code DTJANE. It's fun to shop in her store because the prices are so good, and you can get lots of things for your money. You really can. I mean, if you end up with your shopping bag with 30 or $40 spent, you will have a ton of items because it's such a bargain, especially with the extra 10% off. So... Go do yourself a little shopping and um, make yourself some cards and ATCs and layouts and have some fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.